Hi, I'm Mike Hancock, and today I wanna to share with you the five most important things you need to do after you've been involved in a slip and fall accident. The very first thing uh, and most important thing that you need to do after being involved in a slip and fall accident is actually take photos of what caused you to fall. Uh, everybody now has cell phones with them and it's sufficient just to you know, take your cell phone out after you've gathered yourself and take photos, take video, uh, take as many as possible uh, to help us uh, help you later on uh, to be able to determine that it was the store's negligence that caused you to be injured and fall. Um, second thing you need to do is make a report with the store employees. Uh, most often a lot of our clients who have slipped and uh, fallen in somebody's store, uh, such as a Publix or a Target or a Walmart, uh, it, it actually ends up uh, resulting in uh, significant injuries. So. Most often, what will have happened is that you have fallen, people have come to your aid uh, while you're still on the floor, uh, and uh, the store manager comes by and actually makes a report. What also happens on occasion is that our clients fall uh, and get back up uh, very fast. And one of the reasons they do that is they tell us uh, that they felt embarrassed uh, and just wanted to move on. So uh, if that happens, uh, get back up, gather yourself, take photos of what happened uh, or what caused you to fall, uh, but then immediately go seek out some type of store employee and make a report to the manager of the store. They'll have what they call an incident report, and they will fill out your name and address and contact information. Uh, they may actually have you write down what happened, uh, or they may write it down for you. Uh, they may have you sign it, and sometimes they don't. Uh, but regardless, always attempt uh, to get a copy of the report before you leave. Uh, and also before you leave, ask the store employee or store manager for the name of their insurance company, uh, not just the name, but obviously the contact information for you uh, to call and make a claim to their insurance company. Uh, the third thing that is extremely important after a slip and fall is for you to uh, obtain the names and contact information for any witnesses uh, that uh, may have witnessed you fall or come to your aid immediately after you fell. Uh, and uh, also uh, try to find out from these witnesses, uh, and that includes the store employees, an idea of exactly why uh, this substance was on the floor. In slip and fall cases, we talk, the law in Florida talks about a foreign transitory substance. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, but foreign meaning something that wasn't supposed to be there. Transitory, the same thing that is on the floor uh, at one moment, but uh, not the next. Uh, and the substance, meaning that it has to be some type of substance that is on the floor. So Florida talks about in slip and fall type of cases, uh, there being a foreign transitory substance on the floor. Uh, and we have to prove that that foreign transitory substance, whether it's water, whether it's a uh, uh, a soda that someone had spilled, whether it's uh, something that had uh, fallen off a shelf, such as soap, uh, we have to prove that it had been there long enough uh, that the store employees should have known about it and failed to clean it up uh, or failed to put any type of warning signs uh, to warn you of its presence. 
uh, or we have to prove that they were the ones who actually allowed it to be there. Sometimes it's not a, a substance that came from a product. Sometimes it's a substance such as water uh, that is dripping from a uh, refrigerated unit uh, in the store, uh, such as you know on a dairy aisle or on a frozen food aisle. Uh, and you know, you want to look at not just uh, what it looks like, uh, but what's the color, what's the feel, is it a, is it a watery feel, is it a thicker substance. Uh, we also want to know whether other people, uh, we want to know evidence as to uh, had it been there long enough for other people to have walked through it. Some of the evidence that we typically get in that regard are photographs and video of the substance. Uh, and uh, we might see, you know, if it's a grocery store, we might see uh, the little wheels from the cart, the grocery cart. We might have seen that that has tracked uh, the substance and, and left a dirty uh, print of the cart wheels uh, through the substance and down the rest of the aisle. You might also see other footprints uh, in that substance that has walked in the substance and then uh, the footprints leading down the aisle. So we want to find any evidence uh, as to how long that substance has, had been there. Uh, and that will allow us uh, to uh, more easily uh, prove that the store was negligent. And the fifth thing that is extremely important uh, is is seek a medical care uh, immediately after you've been injured. So those are the five most important things that you can do for yourself immediately following a slip and fall accident uh, to help us help you have a successful case. I'm Mike Hancock with Hancock Injury Attorneys. If you have any other questions regarding this or any other matter, please give me a call or visit our website for other videos and information on slip and fall type accidents.